So all three of us uh, here, all three of the faculty members, Manan was the first to write the exam. So I'd like to take his feedback and uh, we'll go uh, section by section as well. So let's get into the con section. Manan, can you just start? And you said you could initially, it uh, they were difficult questions, but you could finish in 20 odd minutes only or something. Yeah. And you said that. So just let me know, please. Yeah. So again, the quant section was 45 minutes and... Uh... Last time I scored 51, so I had some confidence for the quant section. But initial, some section, uh, some questions in the quant were a bit tough and required a lot of calculations initially. So I was a bit uh, overwhelmed in the beginning that it's taking time. But I stick to the rule of not spending much time on a question. And I moved ahead in like two or two and a half minutes. Gradually, things got improved and I was more comfortable. One thing I would like to mention is there were many questions from the concept numbers and algebra. And as you all know, our material also focuses and gives a lot of emphasis on numbers. So I think going through every question in the module that we share would be really helpful because that will give you a real essence of how GMAT focus questions are. If you go for OGs, the difficulty is not of that level where you should actually practice yourself. So having that, that really gave me a good plus point in order to uh, do a particular difficulty level of questions and perform in the exam. Now talking about the exam, yeah. uh, I, I completed the questions in 20 minutes itself. Uh, I got sufficient time to review. So here, since I got time and I got, and I can review each and every question, the review thing was not a trap for me in the pond section. Because I didn't bookmark a lot of questions. I just bookmarked two questions and I was able to have a look at them and change answer for one of them. So that was a good thing. But if I would have done the same in verbal, it would have been a trap. So the quant section in itself was good. Uh, I would say you just need to have more calculations and a more of a logical approach. All right, Maria, you got more of arithmetic, I think, and not so many numbers questions. And just tell us about this calculation thing as well. Yeah. Yes, on my paper, I had a lot of uh, arithmetic questions for some reason. And initially a few algebra, sure. But then it started dominating on the arithmetic side. Uh, what I realized was the questions were pretty standard, uh, basic concepts. What they were trying to do much more was trap me a lot and get my answers wrong. So there are a lot more traps now. You need to be on the lookout for every word. You have to go through every word and try to understand if it has some significance. So and, do you mean language trap here or you say mathematical traps? Like uh, so traps In some questions, there were language traps. In some, there were mathematical traps. So you need to be on the lookout for both. Uh, anything might pop up at any time. So that was the kind of scenario I was in. And secondly, for questions that they wanted you to spend time on, they would complicate it with calculations only. So that was the only way that they have very honestly. And I felt that they trapped me pretty well, uh, well on that. But at the end, I found some shortcuts and got through it. So either All you right. need to be good with your calculations, quick with it, you need to train for that. Either you should be able to find shortcuts through options or something like that, which can get you through quickly. Right. So do, did you get all kinds of questions in quant? That is one question coming again. Okay. Like basic coordinate geometry, basic uh, algebra, inequalities, numbers, arithmetic, like all the topics except geometry, obviously, but uh, did you yes, get a I, good mix? I think, sir, except I did not get any questions on coordinate geometry per se, but other than that, there was a good mix. Uh, a few questions on probability too. So I think it's yes, a good mix overall except coordinate for sure. All right, Manan, could you just tell what kind of other questions? You got numbers a lot, algebra a yeah. lot, but others? There were questions from probability. There were questions from permutations and combinations. But uh, adding to Maria's point, there were no coordinate geometry questions. Okay, okay. We cover coordinate geometry with algebra this time because graphing and all. So that is there. But probably Jignesh told me. And uh, another thing, you are bringing the idea of calculations. So is it really like you can approximate those calculations? You actually have to write and calculate. What sort of mindset is required according to you? Because we anyway talk about faster calculations, but I don't talk about writing down generally. So just asking. Uh, yeah, sir, I think in my personal case, it was more about approximations. Uh, I don't I, like on the point you don't have the access to the calculator and so you need to be, you need to find ways at the end of the day. So wherever yeah. I saw 39, I brought it to 40 and, look, and looked at the closest answer. So approximation yeah. was my game per se. Manan, in your case? Uh, 
I did some calculations just to be sure of the things mm-hmm. and not uh, pay uh, and to pay more close attention to things. So I use the pen and paper and not approximations because this time I was like GMAT has changed and no matter no no wonder what surprises might come. Touch wood, there were no big surprises coming in terms of the calculations and we could uh, do it in the same line but uh, i i you finished it in 20 minutes also so that means even the calculations didn't take you time even if you wrote i guess so yeah i think so right and jignesh what about your con section let me just hear so i i got one coordinate question uh, hmm. out of all those uh, and that was also not essentially a coordinate question it was a permutations question hmm. so it was it can be asked in permutations yeah so it was just that one coordinate question. Uh, otherwise, it was most of uh, numbers and arithmetic. Uh, I, I would say it was a good mix of numbers and arithmetic, but a mix of the uh, both of these concepts. Not uh, there was one or two questions on uh, inequalities as well. So, but but I would really say that yeah, uh, second Moria's and Manan's points that yeah, numbers and arithmetic are definitely there. They're definitely looking to waste your time with. The calculations, uh, but options are never so close. So, for example, the options you can actually use approximations to eliminate option choices because they are not as close as you know you would expect to you know, get to the T of the calculation. But yeah, if you're someone who thrives on good calculation, who has good good calculation abilities, then definitely go for that method. Okay, how about statistics like mean, median, standard deviation? These things were there or not? Let me just standard questions. Standard questions from this simply like the questions we have in our material. We have the uh, median, we have the maximum, we have the range. Okay, then mm. you just put in the values and you, you know, you approximate what numbers are possible, what are possibilities, questions like this. The ones which are ad- abundant in our material, I think 700, 800 in class guides have so many questions like this. Just those kind of questions in mean, median. That's so all of you, as you already are students, you must be knowing that 700 to 800 collection, the largest chunks are arithmetic and numbers. I mean, they're so huge that people probably don't finish. And in the classes also, the biggest chunk that we do. And in terms of trickiness, toughness. So please go through class sessions guide.